Greetings friends. What I have to share with you today is a hot tip on how you can increase your strength and power of your physical body when it comes to exercise. Now most people will be aware that when it comes to strength and power you really want to undertake exercises involving short duration and high intensity contractions where you're releasing a lot of force over a short period of time. There's plenty of information on what sort of exercises that you do to undertake this on the internet because it's been covered to a large extent. So what I'm going to share with you today is what is less known, how to strengthen up the body in such a way that you increase the structural integrity of the body so that your body can generate more force. And what I mean by that is traditionally when you undertake a lot of athletic movements, jumping, squatting, uh, lunging, throwing, pulling, pushing, this sort of thing, you're taking into action the muscles which generate movement in the bones. There are also a group of muscles that their role is specifically not to move the bones but simply to make sure that the bones are in the correct position stabilized and that the body remains safe while it undertakes the action. So these are called stabilizing groups. They provide stability to the bone structure. They prevent you from becoming injured, but they also allow your body to generate more force when it comes to the physical action because the whole structure is more secure. So in a moment, I'm going to share with you a couple of my favorite exercises to strengthen up the shoulder girdle, which is your collarbone and your shoulder blade, which is actually where your arm attaches to the body. So if these muscle groups are not strong, what you'll find is that you can't generate as much force with your arms, and of course, your performance will be reduced as a result of this. So let's take a look at these exercises. The first exercise is called crow posture in yoga. Begin about shoulder width apart with the hands and feet, placing the knees on the back edge of your arm, and angle forward till the feet come up. Just holding is the initial aspect. If you're strong enough, try to extend one leg at a time, alternating with the other side, which is much more demanding strength-wise. And a further progression is to just lift both the legs up, balancing and alternating the legs. You'll probably find that it's hard enough to just hold your position initially, let alone lifting one leg at a time, but you can apply this at your level of strength capability as it is right now. The next exercise is once again a yoga base, the downward facing dog. Position yourself as such, and this is great strengthening through the shoulder girdle like this, but here is the uh, advancement of the movement to take one leg up and over like this, the three leg dog, or what I like to call the piddling dog. And you'll find that your shoulders are working quite hard just holding this position as well as a big stretch down the side. As you allow that raised leg to come over, just hold yourself reaching your opposite end toward the sky in a vertical position and you'll find that your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder joint and shoulder girdle have to hold a very strong and firm secure position to keep yourself stable. You of course repeat off the other side so that you get once again that stretch down the side and the strengthening effect through the major joints of the upper body on the other side. If you want to, you can also combine these two movements to make a great strengthening combination. So you're coming back into the downward facing dog, jump immediately forward or walk forward into that crow posture as demonstrated initially. You can throw the advancement in there if you like of the flying crow, which further demands the shoulder girdle strength and stability. Push back through to downward facing dog and go through that piddling dog and side hold position once again on both sides. You'll find that particularly if you're new to this, this will be extremely difficult. You won't be able to do it too many times before you find that your shoulder girdle is too weak to hold you up. Continue through as many times as you need of course to generate that fatigue required to increase or enhance your strength.